Cox has a long history of being a good corporate citizen. Our chairman, Jim Kennedy, introduced Cox Conserves based on that heritage and our desire to protect and sustain the environment for future generations. Since that time, we've made enormous progress and we've completed conservation projects across the map. We're focused on energy conservation, fuel cell installations, solar energy, water conservation, and many community efforts, such as river cleanups and thousands of hours of volunteerism. Cox has been an environmental leader for many years. And in 2007, we created a formal program around our sustainability efforts. This year, we're proud to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Cox Conserves. You know, it's hard to say when I really began this focus on the environment. I've always cared a lot about the environment. I spend a lot of time outdoors. I really appreciate that time. I just decided a little over five years ago that the company needed an environmental focus. And that was the beginning of Cox Conserves. And we decided that it was appropriate for us to set goals and objectives in the area of conservation like we do with anything else we do in business. Everything we ought to do, we ought to look at it and say, is there a en more environmentally friendly way to do that? Uh, in many cases, the best way for the environment is also the best way for business. When I think of some of the neat specific programs we've put into place through Cox Conserves, one I like the most is the deployment of new bucket trucks. We really have changed the way we think about a fleet operation from you know, just get whatever truck or whatever car works to get whatever truck or whatever car works in the most environmentally friendly way. We are reducing our carbon emissions by over 17,000 tons a year. Our water recycling programs have conserved over 20 million gallons of water. We use this new fuel cell technology where we use biogas to power fuel cells. It is really a new, innovative way to produce energy. So I hope in the next five years we can continue to find new ways to be more environmentally friendly. It's very important to partner with the existing organizations that do good work, and there are two that we have particularly beneficial partnerships. One is American Rivers. And with American Rivers, we have volunteer days where we pick waterways. Cox employees volunteer and go out and help with major cleanup areas. Another partner is Trust for Public Lands. And through Trust for Public Lands, we go to various communities where we do business. We find sort of the unsung environmental heroes in those communities. We give them a grant to their organization and we publicize their work. And that creates an environment that encourages more people to volunteer and more beneficial work to get done. The key part of Cox Conserves is all of us doing a little or in our case, the company doing lots of little things. When you walk out of a room, should the light stay on or can you turn it off? How about when you leave, turn off your computer? It's just those little common acts that sometimes we're too busy to do. You know, we're hassled, we're dealing with a complex life. Take a minute to look around you and say, what can I do? And it's surprising the number of things you'll find you can do that will make a difference. In the culture of a company, it's what you do rather than what you say. And I think Cox Conserves is a very important part of the culture of our company. And that's the legacy. I want people to understand that. I want people to understand that as the environment we live in and work in is threatened, that the culture of our company is to do something, not debate, not procrastinate, but get out and really do something about it. And that is what I'm the most concerned about. And the most pleased about, frankly, that we are doing it.